Okay, I'm here to talk about my first stage, the planning of my homemade liquid nitrogen air conditioner. Now, uh, what kind of re-sparked my interest, I've been planning on building one of these for a while, but a guy on YouTube kind of used similar to my design. I haven't posted my design, so he thought it up. Uh, it was a, um, he used dry ice and water, I believe is what it was and it had a fan blowing over it anyway and it, it looked cool and it cooled it down and it was powerful but I'm hoping this will be a little more mm, not even sophisticated just overly complicated there we go uh, anyway um, I have uh, first of all it is a I'm calling it the homemade liquid nitrogen air conditioning unit and it will consist of a small cooler about as large as this clipboard and here's a pencil you know, I found it back in the woods. Um, I don't have the cooler with me. Uh, four metal legs that are about that big. I got that off of a coffee machine along with a lot of these parts. Uh, it's an industrial Dunkin' Donuts coffee machine I found in the garbage. Uh, so four of those legs. A small battery pack. I'm thinking two six-volt lantern batteries like... Like... This, two of them to give me the 12 volts needed to power a sump, um, boat sump, a boat sump as my uh, motor, copper piping, a radiator out of a motorcycle or very small car, uh, a fan, I'll probably build it in the box and I think I had the blade picked out. And um, I think then the homemade liquid nitrogen and then anything else I find that I just need. Probably like silicone and that sort of stuff. Uh, anyway, the plans are I'll take the cooler, and this is just the cooler part, and attach the legs. The battery pack will be slightly uh, shorter than the legs. I'll probably have the batteries mounted like this on the bottom of the cooler. And the legs will be just slightly longer so they'll hold it up. Um, and then that will be the battery pack. I'm in the cooler, I will have my homemade liquid nitrogen, which I will discuss in a second. Uh, a pump motor. I'm worried about this because of how cold this is going to be. It's not real liquid nitrogen, but how cold it is. I've never used an electronic motor under minus, I don't even know if it's 100 or 200 degrees, but it's right up there. Um, then I also have some sort of small plastic or metal container, circular. Uh, for that's for the process of making the homemade liquid nitrogen. I'll explain that. It just has holes drilled in it. And then copper pipe. This can be silicon pipe, but up here's uh, the that is a the uh, hold it having a brain fart. The radiator. There's the fan, and there's the copper pipe return. And I have a close up. I'll discuss here. So that's the return. It just comes back in. Uh, here's the looking at the back of it, and you have the it has to suck the air through the uh, or through and around the radiator and then there's a fan you can see this darker shade on the outside that's a fan and then here's this the return this is the take in and this is the return for the uh, radiator here's the fan and in front of it I'll just have a copper pipe which will also kind of cool it but not that much just a copper pipe for the return in front of a fan so it's just going to have, it's going to blow, suck in through the radiator, and that will obviously chill the air considerably. Uh, then, now I'm on to the process of the liquid nitrogen, because I think I've explained it pretty well. Uh, this was not my idea. There is a YouTube video called Redneck Liquid Nitrogen. It is a school teacher or chemist or something like that that makes it, and he tells you not to do it if you're not supervised and if you're under the ages of 18. Well, all of that will be done. Um... But basically, he took a container and placed a smaller container in it. And as for the conduct, the um, liquid conductor, heat conductor, he used 99% rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. And then he placed in the smaller con container, which has holes drilled in it, dry ice. What that does is when the dry ice um, evaporates into the carbon dioxide the rubbing alcohol becomes super chilled and it's not going to ice over because it's 99% rubbing alcohol. Uh, if you use 70 it will become a sludge. 
Uh, so anyway, the alcohol will then become super chilled. This will be done in the cooler. That's what my little container's for. This is just kind of a close-up. So after that, um, I can turn on the pump, and it will be right at a hun minus 100, you know, maybe minus 200. I'll have to review the video. And uh, it should be really cold. Now, you could use this with technically any of the designs on YouTube, this liquid nitrogen stuff. But I just like the ones with the radiator, so I drew this up real quick. And, uh, yeah. So any questions, comments, or concerns, please tell me. I'm taking all the ideas. I probably won't finish this. I have to do this project entirely free. So I gotta go find some copper pipe and a radiator. I pretty much have everything else. Maybe a pump. If anyone knows where I can get a really durable, or what kind would be a really durable pump that can deal with extreme cold, just tell me and it needs to run off of about 12 volts. And uh, so, yeah.